Today we're going to learn how to synchronize a movie in Digital Performer. The first thing that we're going to do is to import a movie. To do so, I'm going to press Shift and V as in video. And I'm going to navigate to the location where my movie is. The movie window will show up and that's a window you can resize um, any way you want. Now we have to make sure that the frame rate of Digital Performer is set up correctly. So if I go up here, uh, I can see the frame rate, the current frame rate, and uh, now it's set up uh, to 30 frames per second. Now I know that this movie was actually done at 29.97 uh, non-drop, so I'm going to choose that frame rate. Now we have to tell DP where the um, movie starts in terms of SIMT code. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to scroll all the way to the beginning of the movie, all the way to the left, and I'm going to read my SIMT code. At the moment it reads 01015803. So I'm going to put that information into the set movie start time in the mini uh, menu of the movie window. Again I go to the mini menu of the movie window and I'm going to select set movie start time. Here I'm going to punch in the exact time code that I see at the beginning of the movie. So one. 015803 and I'm going to click OK. Now DP knows where the movie starts. But in this case, which is one of the most complicated ones, the beginning of the movie doesn't correspond to the beginning of the picture. As you can see there is some black uh, there are some black frames here. So, next I'm going to find out where the movie actually starts, when where the first frame of the picture is. In this case, I can use the arrow left and right to move frame by frame, and I can see that the first one, even if it's a fade in, it's really at one hour and two minutes. So now I'm gonna go to my sequence window or chunks window that I can open through the button here. I'm gonna select my sequence, go to the mini menu of the sequence window, and select set chunk start. In set chunk start I can line up bar 1 with any location in the movie that I want and the location I want is the exact frame of the first picture. In this case 01020000. So where it says frames here I'm going to select the field and I'm going to write 01 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0. This will line up bar 1 with the first frame of the picture. And I'm going to click OK. Now if I go to bar 1, I'll see bar 1 lined up with the beginning of the picture. Here we are seeing a little bit of a discrepancy because of the way the movie was digitized from a, an older tape. But bar 1 now is lined up with the beginning of my picture. So if I press play, the picture starts right at bar 1. To make sure that everything is synced up correctly, you want to uh, select here frames. So you can see frames. So you have two references in terms of location, bars and bits, and frames. Now we're almost done. Uh, now it's time to uh, spot the movie and finding the right tempo that you think will fit the commercial or the scene that you have to score. Let's pretend that uh, 110 is the perfect tempo for this scene or for this commercial. You will have to spot it the movie to spot the movie a few times in order to determine the, the you know the correct tempo. After doing so, I need to insert two bars before bar 1. 
this allows me to do two things first one to um, make sure to have two bars count off for any live players that uh, I want to record and also it would allow me to uh, insert what's called a two beep is a it's a, it's a beep sound that happens exactly two seconds before the first frame of the picture and it is used in post-production uh, to line up the all the different stems so to, to insert two bars it's very simple uh, I'm gonna line up bar one to the first frame of the picture and then I'm gonna simply go to project select modify conductor track and select insert measures here I want to make sure that I insert two bars before bar one and also make sure that maintain all times following the insertion point is checked if I click OK my sequence will start at minus one but my bar one will still link to the first frame of the picture so if I press play I have two bars and then I'm in the picture I also advise to, um, trans to to move the audio track of the picture to an audio track in DP. Th this will allow, will, allow, will allow you to control better the volume between voiceover and um, um, and your your music tracks. To do so, it's very simple. You go to the mini menu of the movie window and select copy movie audio to sequence As you can see a new stereo audio track is created and that will contain the audio of the movie